We'll be using a COVID test for this craft. Make holes in a row. Build a shelf with the help of straws. There are different kinds of allergens under every hole. Oh, that's a lot. Cocktail straws will be used as test tubes. Fill each one with chemicals. People are allergic to all kinds of things. The main thing is to identify the irritant in time. Hello? Doctor, I need help. Please? In this, I have to ask you to raise the hood. I need to examine you. Oh. Oh, what a bad rash. And it won't go away. <sighs> we need to determine what caused it. Hmm? Let's do an allergy test. Let's go. I'll soak the cotton swab in the solutions. The result will not be long in coming. Let's wait for the reaction. All the samples evaporated, except for one. Yeah, we found the culprit. Let's see, green, it's plant pollen. It's because you're wearing a brooch made out of a living flower. Wow. Really? Let's try to remove it. Impossible, blue rash is gone. Doctor, you are a genius, thank you. <laughs> Be healthy. Bye. Cut off the part of the plastic container. Cut a hole in the lid. Cover it with detail. Silver. Let's add a flip down door. A secure lock will not allow anyone to escape. Another day in the lab is coming to an end. Shoo. Wait, what? A shadow appears on the wall. This animal rights activist is here to save mice from experiments. Uh -huh. I'm here. Hmm? Well, my pliers will cope with any locks. You're free, guys. Another noise? Oh, poor monkeys. You are safe with me. Let's go. Take blue and red light clay. Connect them with a wire. The table is full of pieces. Put together a DNA model. We need a stand. All the information about living beings is concentrated in this mysterious spiral. Hello? Attention class. Today we are studying a very important topic, the structure of DNA. We have an excellent model. Let's take a look at. Whoa. Sorry, urgent call. I'll be back soon. Yeah. Let's take a closer look while he's gone. Well, let me. I'm first. Stop. <gasps> Who did this? My priceless model. Here are the culprits. Gotcha. <laughs> Sorry. You broke it, you fix it. You'll study the structure at the same time. Okay. Bye. A pack of walnuts is a healthy snack. We need two halves. Shape it. It already looks like a brain. Wow. Cut off the cotton swab. An amazing similarity between nuts and the brain, isn't it? Hello? Doctor, I get headaches so often, I always get migraines. <sighs> A common complaint. We need to find out the reason. Welcome. Let's do an MRI. It doesn't hurt at all. <gasps> I feel like I'm flying in space. <laughs> Let's look at your indicators. Ooh. I see what's going on. I'll explain visually with a brain model. So that's the reason. Remarkable. Thank you. Take these pills and the blood circulation of the brain will be back to normal. Hmm? Okay, I'll try. Yay, my headache is gone. Woo. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Take a container. Fill to the top with plaster. Cut the bandage into strips. 
putting on a cast is quick and easy. Of course I'll drop by for a visit. What? George will be there. Oh! oh, oh. She'll have to go to the emergency room. This x-ray shows that you have a fracture. Oh no, what should I do? Don't worry, you need to wear a cast. The plaster and bandages will allow the bones to heal properly. Take your vitamins and come back for a re-examination. I'll drive more carefully from now on. Kathy has been eating hospital food for days. Ew, I am so sick of this diet. Good morning, how do you feel? Wonderful, but I want burgers. Hmm, let's take a look at your vitals. Already back to normal, you can switch to a normal diet. Let's empty the eyeshadow refills. Put on a plastic lid. The one thing left is to fill it with food. A healthy diet. Yummy. Enjoy your meal. Woohoo! This is a feast. Shoo. She ate and fell asleep. <laughs> Being in a good mood will only speed up her discharge. Cut the wire. Let's make medical instruments. Lay out the napkin. Keep it sterile. And medical instruments are always at hand. The doctor carefully prepares for the surgery. Let's wash our hands well. Uh -huh. Spick and span. Let's go. Darling, everything will be fine. Nurse, tools, please. Here, everything is ready. Nurse, catcher's forceps. Uh, uh. Nurse, a forehead sponge. Thank you. Indicators are normal. Yes. Now the scalpel. Phew, the surgery went well. High five. The patient feels great. Unbelievable. Well done, great job. Take out the lenses. It says first aid on it. Cut out a printout of the thermometer. Cover it with nail polish. Make the patches smaller. Make a box. Carefully fold it. Everything we need is here. First aid will be provided immediately. <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> Show us your trademark trick. Ah, no problem. Watch and learn. Yay. Does it hurt a lot? Mm -hmm. Lady, stop, please. Do you have a first aid kit? She needs to be patched up. Yes. Of course, always at hand. We will treat the wounds. Oh. So where are the patches? I found it. Shoo. Now it will heal quickly. Thank you. You helped us so much. <laughs> Sushi break? Take a stick. Wrap it in ribbon. Decorate the cane with a unicorn. A cane makes it easier for some people to walk. <laughs> Hello? My doctor wrote me a prescription. Read, please. <laughs> yeah, a cane. Please, the only one left is with a unicorn. Mm. It makes me look like a magician. <laughs> this cane suits you so much. Amazing! It's so good. You might actually meet a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll buy it. Thank you. Lady, would you like to accompany me on a walk? <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> oh, what a sweet story. <laughs> Let's assemble a wooden flipboard. Set up the shelf. 
glue the sheets with stickers. A couple of pencils. You can write down whatever comes to mind. The doctor is holding a meeting. Hi there. Medical issues require urgent solutions. Consider this diagram. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What are you laughing at? This is serious business. What is this? Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Woo. <laughs> the nurses made the doctor a surprise. How sweet. Yay. Let's roll up lumps with self-hardening clay. Make an envelope cocoon with light clay. Wow, so many kids. Who's the lucky dad? A young father came into the hospital. Honey, this is for you. You are so smart. How did everything go? You know, quite hmm. successfully, but the case is interesting. What? Meet your babies. Have you come up with names for everyone yet? Uh, there's a hundred? Hush, hush. How are you? Oh, you're lucky. Even more happiness in the family. Oh, you're right. Everything is so unexpected. <laughs> the family was replenished with a hundred kids. Parents of many children will definitely not be bored here. <laughs> An old doll should be transformed. Put on a dry tissue. The wig cap is ready. Medical mask? Unusual. Cut the mask into tresses. The doll received long blue hair. A wonderful image from improvised materials. A trichologist knows exactly how to grow amazing hair. Good afternoon, doctor. Hey, what's bothering you? <gasps> My hair! <laughs> A classic case of alopecia. Let's examine the hair. Hmm? I'll prescribe you the meds. If you feel uncomfortable, just try on a wig. Oh. Wow, you think I can pull it off? Absolutely, look in the mirror. Wow. You're right, I can change hundreds of images until I'm cured. Get well soon. <laughs> Turn a plastic container into a medical case. Connect the two halves with a gold ribbon. Everything is covered in gold in this clinic. Cover the container with accessory chains. Shape the handle. In order not to confuse it with a designer purse, add a red cross to the suitcase. Lolly Vuitton is launching a new collection for doctors. Wow! Decorate the suitcase with half beads and give it to the doctor. Even the doctors at this hospital wear trendy accessories. Miriam has a headache. Oh, the music at the party yesterday was too loud. I need to call my doctor. The doctor arrived right away. Hello. What seems to be the problem, Miriam? A migraine. Maybe it's because of the weather? Don't worry, I have something that is going to help you. It's the latest painkiller, and it works super fast. Wow, I love new things. Stay healthy, we're always happy Bye. to help. Pick some leaves from plants. They're fresh, but not very good for treating diseases. Take a burlap sack. The leaves will keep their healing properties this way. In a cheap hospital, doctors practice folk medicine. It helped me when I was a kid. It should still help now. While she was walking, Penny tripped and hurt her leg. She'll have to wait for help on the bench. Uh-oh, this broke hospital doesn't have the right medications. Let's collect some leaves and figure something out. Doctor, it's great that you're here. Where does it hurt? Here? Ah! I'll press the sleeve and it will feel all better. Penny trusts Bye. her doctor. Looks like she didn't hurt her leg that much since a leaf helped her start walking again. Get better. Make a clip for a stethoscope. Bend the frame. A crystal cord will improve the sound quality. The inserts fit well in the ears. 
and a half bead will become the acoustic head. A beautiful stethoscope is decorated with precious stones. You can wear this device instead of jewelry. A pregnant woman went to the doctor. I think the baby is kicking too hard. Don't worry, I'll take a look. An expensive stethoscope will help the doctor hear all the sounds. Hmm. I listened. Your baby is perfectly fine. He's just trying to get your attention. Thanks. I'll pet my belly more often. Bye. Sticks are a very useful material. Connect a couple of crooked branches. Wrap the place for a handle with twine. The rope is stronger than delicate silk. There isn't even a moment of peace at the poor clinic. This old lady barely made it in. Thank you. Oh, honey, can you help me? I will. Take a seat for now. And the doctor came back with a cane. That's fancy. Can I swing it? When did this grandma graduate from Ninja Academy? Uh-oh, don't move around too much. Let's try it out. Knock, knock. Oh, it's a dry branch, but it will work. I'll teach these rascals a lesson. Oh, I hope no one gets hurt. The doctors at the Rich Clinic think that money is the best remedy. So why not just press a stack of money to the place where it hurts? Stick Lala Dollars to double-sided tape. It's perfect. Unfortunately, you can't pay with this now. Heal faster. Take a gold container for band-aids. Now nothing will get lost. The Lala Vuitton suitcase is a perfect container. Princess Fiona didn't need to make an appointment. Doctor, I fell and scratched my arm. Oh, you poor thing. We will help you fix this problem as soon as possible. I'll take a seat for now. Uh-huh. Let's see. Okay, here we'll use our new method of money treatments. Individually designed band-aids are easy to use. Let's spread them out on the arm. Wow. And it will heal much faster. Thanks, you're an amazing doctor. One tea bag will be enough to make tea for the whole emergency room. Separate tea into small portions. Cover the edge and add a label on a thread. In a tea container, all the tea bags are protected from moisture. Enjoy your tea. It's very cold at the poor hospital. The heating is off, the walls don't have any insulation, and a doctor has to warm himself up with a blanket and hot tea. Doctor, my eyes are tired and they hurt. Will you help me? Take a seat on the couch, ma'am. I'll give you a relaxing compress. Where are my tea bags? Hold them on your eyes for a while and you'll see the effect. Wow. Would you like some tea? After a friendly conversation and a cup of warm tea, the grandma really started feeling better. We'll need these eyedroppers to make an IV. Trim the excess. Fill the containers with gold glitter. Connect decorations and pins to make lids. Add zippers. A clear straw will be a base for a stand. A wire frame can handle the weight of all the liquids. Cover an attachment point under a gold ribbon. Add rings to the sides. Gold leaf is so light that you need special skills to make decorations out of it. The IV stand looks amazing. Add a support from a lid. We need more gold. Containers with gold liquids are finally in place. A long tube is attached to them. Gold deficiency is easily solved with a luxurious IV. The head of a zombie clan turned to the doctor. Hello. Doctor, I'm running out of gold blood. Can you help me? I feel weak. We just got a new shipment. A nurse set up the IV and the zombie started feeling better. I feel alive again. Don't rush. We need to finish this procedure in a relaxing atmosphere. Thank you. Trim the caps like this. Hot glue covers to the bottom. Make them look older with paint spills. The rope looks burnt. There was a problem with electricity in the hospital. 
we made a simple ultrasound machine. There is a new patient in the hospital. A pregnant girl came for a checkup. Take a seat, we'll check everything. Let's take a look at your belly. The shape is correct, everything is okay. Now let's listen. Oh, it's so exciting. Shh, I need silence. Would you like to listen? Wow, what a happy sound. Oops, the doctor pranked the patient and let her listen to the sounds of her stomach instead. <laughs> the joke went well, both women were laughing. Gold sequin fabric is the right material for a gorgeous mask. Cut out a piece and tighten it on both sides. An elastic of the right tone secures the mask on the head. Wow! Swarovski crystals sparkle under the hospital lights. The Rich Clinic has a gorgeous therapy office. This is where Molly goes for therapy. Doctor, are you free? I am always free for my VIP clients. Molly lay on a velvet couch. Please, put on this expensive mask. Vivi also put it on. Doctor, I can't take it anymore. I have a recurring nightmare. I was drowning in my own money again. First of all, do some breathing exercises. How do you feel now? Ah, uh, much better. I feel great. Our masks are dipped in essential oils. They help you relax and get rid of negative thoughts. Make foot covers out of a trash bag. Seal the edges. A pair of shoe covers is ready, but we'll need a whole box of them, so there is enough for all the patients. There is a storm outside. There's mud everywhere. The patient barely managed to get to the clinic. Oh, why are there mud prints in the hospital? I need my mop. We can't work like this. We need to keep the hospital clean. A doctor made a couple of shoe covers for occasions like this. The patient wiped her dirty shoes. Now she can put on the covers. Now everything's clean. The doctor checked the patient's lungs. Good news, there are no abnormal noises. The happy patient went home, and doctor wears shoe covers all the time now. It's important to keep everything sterile. Cut the end of a cap. A thin earring will be a needle. Seal the edge and insert a needle. The syringe is almost ready. Paint it gold. The attachment of a syringe is made out of decorations with rhinestones, and the lever itself is made out of a gold button. Add divisions with diamond markings. It's the best device for people who appreciate comfort and wealth. It's calm and quiet in this VIP clinic. The doctors have some time to rest. But suddenly, a patient interrupted the silence. Doctor, I need a vaccine ASAP so I can go to the Maldives. Don't worry. Let's find the right shots in our database. How are you feeling? Hmm. Your lungs are fine. Now we can give you your shot. Oh, I'm scared of needles. Ah! The patient didn't even notice as the doctor gave her the vaccine. It didn't hurt at all, right? Yeah. I can't wait to swim in the sea. We are making an ambulance. Cut the handle off a plastic bottle. Cut a hole in the front for a windshield. Make a second hole and fill it with hot glue. Outline the back of the car and cut out doors so they can open. Make windows out of a transparent blue folder. Paint parts of the car hull with pink acrylic paint. Now decorate the car with bright stickers, rainbows, and so many hearts. We love taking care of our patients. Stick the word ambulance and red cross signs made from foam paper to the sides. Use Lego parts to make lights for the roof. And use beads for rear lights and door handles. Make holes with an awl and put in wheels from an old toy car. Remove an LED ball light from an old rubber toy and glue it to the car to add a siren. Susie was walking down the street. Suddenly, her phone rang. Where did it go? Found it! Hello? The girl got distracted and stumbled. She had to call an ambulance. I tripped and now it hurts to walk. Let's get you on a stretcher, and we'll take a closer look at the hospital. Let's 
Let's make some crutches for our dolls. Take a thin straw. Cut it into three parts and hot glue them together in the shape of a crutch. Put beads on the edges. Small beads on top and two big ones on the bottom. Cut off the cup holder and glue it to the crutch. That makes two armrests. Ready to go! <laughs> Comfortable crutches will help our patients walk around. Don't worry, it's just <gasps> a sprain. <gasps> we'll put a brace on it. But you'll have to use crutches for a while. Thanks, I'll be more careful next time. Scratches can heal beautifully if you have glitter band-aids. Decorative tape and transparent saran wrap. That's the secret. Stick the tape to a piece of saran wrap. Let's cut out a lot of pieces. We need more than that. Cut it in the shape of a little band-aid. Then round the edges. Put it in a box and hand it to nurse LOL. <laughs> hey, who asked for band-aids? Now all the dolls will heal quickly. The nurse gave Vicky a shot and immediately used a band-aid. Wow, how pretty! And it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> Ken is completely broken. What should we do? Let's pick a new forearm for him. How about this one? No! This one doesn't fit either. Here it is. Uh -huh. A hand from an old robot is a perfect fit. Cut off the extra material so the hinge can enter the arm. Heat an all over a candle and make an opening in the doll's arm. Doctor, I need a prosthetic. Of course, it's no problem for us. Let's start right now. The doctors are prepping for the operation. They need to be very focused. A couple of precise movements and the prosthetic is ready. The operation was a success. Let's get an IV and let the patient rest. Ken brought some flowers to thank the doctor. Thank you, doctor. Everybody loves my cyber arm. <laughs> Little Lassie complained that she was always sneezing. You have to examine patients safely. How about making a protective screen? Draw an outline on a transparent folder. Cut it out and glue glasses on the inside. Now we can do a physical. <laughs> hey, hey, balloons! Make my patient some shoe covers. I'll bring the scissors. <laughs> Cut off the bottom of a balloon and wear them over all kinds of shoes. They don't slide or slip. And now the clinic has perfectly clean floors. <laughs> we have an order. We need an IV stand in the new unit. Bend some wire. Use round players to form hooks. Let's install the mainframe. Cut out strips of white foam paper. Hot glue them to the bottom. Cut off a piece of a straw and put it on a tripod inside. Remove a toothpaste cap. Fill it with hot glue and put the tripod in. Cut a circle out of foam paper. Set up the tripod in the center. Use a piece of transparent folder to make IV bags. Hold the bags above a candle to seal the edges. Use a paintbrush to fill the bags with water. Add some color with acrylic paint. Look at those pretty swirls! Let's make a second one. Cut holes in little pieces of plastic. And hot glue the attachments to the bags. Blue and red solutions are ready! Use two parts of a slim cord to make wires. The new equipment was sent to the department. Thank you for your help. Two patients are here for an IV. How are you feeling? Put a Band-Aid on the wiring. <laughs> no fever, great. How long do we have to lie here for? I'm bored. Be quiet, I'll read you a book. We should make a blood pressure meter. Cut a ribbon. Put on a little piece of Velcro. Use hot glue to attach white wire to the cuff and add a decorative panda face to the body of the meter. Wow! Glue a mirror board as a display and write down the data. Pulse is normal too. 
During her visit, Marie decided to check her blood pressure. Let's measure it. Relax your arm. Congratulations, you are as healthy as can be. Your blood pressure's normal. <laughs> but taking some vitamin D wouldn't hurt. The patients need comfortable beds. Use styrofoam pieces to make a frame base. I'm coming with some sheets. They are nice and soft. Put the fabric on the frame base and add hot glue. Glue the squares of the white foam paper to the bottom of the couch. Bend the wire to make two pairs of couch legs. Attach them to the bottom as well. A girl brought her younger sister to get a shot. I'll do a health check first. <laughs> All right, we can give you a shot. My little sister's really afraid of needles. She <gasps> got scared and ran into her sister's arms. Oh. <laughs> That's it. It doesn't hurt at all. Dr. Rachel thoroughly washes her hands before every new patient. There are never enough wipes. Use purple nail polish to draw gloves. Let the nail polish dry and it's done. The doctor can wear sterile gloves when she gives somebody a shot. And you can go now. Let's make a medical cart. Bend wire into two arcs. Crisscross them with a floral wire. Empty eyeshadow containers will be shelves. Glue four car wheels to the bottom of the legs. All we have to do is put all the medicine on the shelves. Let's check your temperature. Wait a minute. 98.6. Great. Go back to your room and get some rest. <laughs> Let's build a wheelchair. Make a wire frame. Cut off the loose ends with wire cutters. Connect the parts to each other by wrapping them with a thin, flexible wire. We also need to make a footrest. Use a piece of a wood stick and some floral wire. The cover will be pink with a cute print. Hot glue the fabric to the back and the seat of the chair. Use two wire arches to make handrails. Add wheels from an old car to the bottom. Each wheel needs to be double-sided. And all four legs can move now. Kate is about to have a baby, so she needs to walk as little as possible. Our nurses will make sure everything goes well. And soon, Kate gave birth to a little girl. Her loving husband came to comfort and support her.